Hey, okay, so we have like a gazillion information security professionals sc scattered around a, a million organizations. Every large organization you go to, you've got an IT security department and information security department, the list goes on and on and on. So the question is, if you've got so many of these professionals working in all of these organizations, how comes each and every one of them has suffered some sort of breach in the last couple of years or months or days or what have you, and they continue to suffer them. Why can't these guys get it wrong? Wrong? Why can't they get it right? Whenever there's a, actually a breach at any of these organisations, you always got one of these geeks, nerds, IT security people, information security people, sitting in a corner going, Had you listened to my recommendations three months ago, you would not have encountered this. I told you so. I told you so, did I not? So if they knew about the vulnerabilities beforehand and they documented it and they try to explain it, why was it never fixed and why did the company still get breached? I like to refer to it as the pacification of the information security professional. They can't convey a simple message in a clear, coherent and a ballsy manner that other people would uh, sit up and take notice of. But they usually go in and they end up saying something like this. If you all refer to the uh, risk matrix on slide number four, you will see that 28.3% of the risks have a very high impact. And so the message never really gets out. They should try an approach like this. Gentlemen, if you go ahead with this website, you will be absolutely fucked. Simple and clear, concise business speak. They don't want to know whether it's a buffer overflow or what, you know, subroutine didn't work correctly. It gets a point across. Of course, you're always going to get some bean counter in there who's going to pipe up. But if we pull the website offline, we're going to be losing in the region of five million pounds a day. Hey, 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 if I wanted your opinion, I'd grab my arm up your eyes and work your mouth like a puppet. Did you just quote the other guys? Uh. No. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. Shut up, fool. Of course, it could be that your chief information security officer is more worried about running a business than being 100% secure. Uh, don't settle for anything less than 100% security in any case, regardless of whether the cost of security outweighs a business. Because why? We're in the security industry. Security is our job, and we're good at it, and we're proud at it. So if, if they try to get you over a barrel, there's a tried and tested method. This is crap, Chief! Information security officer. That web app is dirty and you know it and you're letting it go. Just like that. You need to let it go, kid. You can't fight the system. Here's my SIS badge. I quit. Look, I ain't accepting your resignation. You got some vacation time coming up. I suggest you take it. But if I so much as sniff out that you're port scanning that web app, I'll put you through so many disciplinary processes, you'll never work in the industry again. Of course, despite your chief's hollow threats, you still go on your days off, you buy your own equipment, you do your own pen tests, and you find out all the vulnerabilities and you present them back. This works all the time. The, the, the CISO gets happy, the business execs are happy, the, the business execs PA falls in love with you, and you're held a hero throughout the organization. Try it. Stay secure, my friends.